one thing I noticed uh, in, in college, I had the opportunity to um, do a non-broadcast video for Clinton Correctional Facility, which is, which is up in Dannemora. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you can't help but notice when you're inside, inside the wall there is that the people inside it, the prisoners for the most part are one color, and the people who work and operate it are another color for the most part. I imagine that had to be kind of a painful conversation you had to have uh, involving a, a number of stories you, you pursued. Yeah, race, race and the war on drugs and, and the era of mass incarceration, uh, you know, everyone knows that race is one of the fault lines in American society. And 40 years ago, in this clumsy way, we suddenly wrapped all of that mess of race up with this other mess of the drug war and mass incarceration. And it's led to this astonishing circumstance where if you live in rural New York, oftentimes your one interaction with people of color is through a prison. It's through the criminal justice system. Your only knowledge of that culture, of that urban life, mm -hmm. is through people that you're incarcerating behind bars. And so it really has led to the point where we talk to people in the North Country and they fear and distrust people of color downstate. And we talk to people of color downstate and they talk about the North Country, this beautiful region, as Siberia, as a place of gulags and prisons where mm -hmm. they're afraid to go. Um, and so there is a fault line there that, you know, it took us 40 years to get here. I think it'll be 40 more years to unravel all, all that that's brought.